Hello, hello. So I want to show you the Frag Shader Show, which is a uh, online exhibition at New Art City of uh, works that were made by my students. Um, I'll let you read this um, little starting panel when you get there, but basically just explains what a shader is. It is a program that is run per pixel uh, and it's executed on the GPU and it's, it's a, you know, you, it requires like a special um, language to write it and that's what the workshop is about. Um, so all of these, I'm just going to go through um, and pick some random some random shaders to look at because I love all of them and unfortunately I can't get to all of them in this short kind of like preview. Um, it's at random. Um, and all of these uh, shaders were made on with kind of one-off workshops that were two hours long. And so we see here oh, a beautiful uh, SDF triangle circle with some randomized uh, um, it, it details in there. We have little flashy boy right there. Oh, and also if you look in the bottom right corner, you see uh, who it's by. Uh, you can also look at the source code, I think, um, in the GitHub that's hosting this website, which is always really exciting. That's really important to me. Uh, oh, this is from my 3D ray marching workshop. So you see, uh, you can kind of see the circle is 3D. Another one from the 3D ray marching workshop by Julia Tufts. Beautiful. I, could, I wish I could live inside there forever. That would be really sick. That's not from the workshop, that's just actually mine. Um, out of Bazen, beautiful seascape, Benzen. And we have uh, Neil, Mendo <laughs> Neil Mendoza, beautiful RGBD to HSL uh, shader uh, use. Very mesmerizing. I want to go to that in the club. Uh, another one from Julia Tufts. She took a few of my workshops and is an amazing student. Julia, if you're watching this, huge fan. Um, and then now we hear Rainy Sinclair. Rainy is my friend from Pittsburgh. I love Rainy. And this is also such a beautiful motion of two circles chasing each other. They look like they're frolicking in a field on a mattress. Uh, Mustafa um, Kafete, who's an, actually an amazing life coder, my, and I love this this rendition of the of the three D of the three D ground. It gets so gooey and mushy in there. Oh my god, I'm having so much fun. This this video might accidentally be like nine minutes long. Chris Palmer, beautiful use of the normal of of a display of the normals of the environment around here. So um, we had used the normalization function, and this is a creative use of the normalization function. Um, norm normal like getting the normals of the surface not normalization those are two different things <laughs> um wow stunning minimalist work another another one by julia toss coming through <laughs> don xyz huge shout out to don xyz um he's a one of the creators or a creator but one of the creators of new art city and he i think he personally transcribed every single one of these shaders um so that uh it would work in this webgl context which is a beautiful amazing uh, thing to do thank you so much don Let's see whoa holy crap <laughs> frederick d bless you who i'm a huge fan of by the way um made this beautiful uh rendition of using a ray marcher Oh my gosh, I'm having too much fun. Oh, Alithia! Alithia, um, she has such an amazing eye for color. And this was also from the Ray Marching Workshop. A, a color along with this like, this feel for almost, it almost looks like an optical illusion because the circle turns into the sky here. Um, and then it turns back and then you see another circle. Alithia also runs with Eliza, a wonderful run into Eliza's shader here. They met at, at my class and then now they run a uh, Twitch stream called Curiously Minded um, where they bring on guests and they also are pair coding on shaders. And so I, I'm honestly, that makes me the happiest teacher ever to know two students met at a shader coding class to come to go, show, go code shaders together. Wow, hypnotizing, Ian Avery, amazing. Chris Palmer, another one by Chris Palmer. I think he might have taken a couple workshops. Soren Peter, another use of the normals, of the normal uh, function. Whoa, oh my gosh. I'm like a kid in a candy shop. What's, what's here, wow. This is a, a beautiful, beautiful use of the uh, mod 3 function. So a really great thing about making 3D graphics 
um, in a ray marching shader instead of like Maya or something like that is you can you use math to describe the scene. And to duplicate something in math, you can just use a mod function. A mod function is, it is a, basically, it wraps a number around if it gets too large. And so the mod is always between, like, for example, a clock is time mod 12, or if you're in Europe or somewhere where they would use a 24-hour clock, it's mod 24. So time, even though time is ever increasing, uh, the time on the clock is always 1 through 12 because it's using, because that's what, a, what, mod, what mod does. Um, and so here he's modding space. So a circle only exists once, and then the space is repeated over and over again because he's using the mod function. And you don't, and you don't have to do so much extra computation if you were to do this using a uh, like a uh, mesh rendering system. So fun fact, I love that about um, ray marching. Wow, beautiful use of colors. Another one by Frederick D. Glacier. Uh, wow, I am just blown away. I really want to know more about this. You can also jump in the in, uh, in uh, New York City. Ooh, the transparency in this one. I want to jump through it and over it. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, great key. Beautiful work. Wow. Oh my god. I want to. Yes. Another. I, I love the motion in this. I just have to point out that it's so clean and crisp, and I really feel like I'm flying through there. Well. I, I honestly I could go on forever. I'm so proud of all my students. If you're a student seeing this, um, I I'm so proud of all the work that everyone is able to do in just such a short amount of time. Everyone is such a trooper. You know, coding shaders is, is not a walk in the park. It's a weird way to think about things. Anyways, um, looks like we made a little bit of a circle. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. We'll, we'll end with this one in our face. Um, <laughs> um, I just wanted to give you a preview of, of what kind of work uh, can be done in a two-hour workshop um, uh, that, I, that I teach online. These were all through Zoom. None of these were, were made in person. Um, and uh, hopefully you get like a feel for uh, you know, what, what kind of uh, shader work we're doing. It's, it's not really like you know, connected into like other 3D mesh programs. It's really a shader that exists as a you know, piece of artwork by itself. Um, and so thank you so much for watching and I hope that you can go to New Art City slash show slash frag. I'll link it in the description. You know, check it out yourself. There's so many so much more work. Um, and with that, farewell.